Now we are going to fetch the news according to the post ID and the news ID. So as we have seen before, we have yet the uh, news based on the category ID. And now we are going to get the news according to the post uh, ID. Now I will copy this and underneath this register rest uh, root, I will change it to CID to PID. Okay, so CID refers to category ID and the PID refers to the post ID. Now, uh, I will change this to get the news details by PID. Okay, so the callback method in this case would be uh, the same as that we have created uh, before. Function, paste the name, get the news details by PID, and I will pass the parameter uh, variable data, and I will return data array of IDs. Now, let me check. Okay. So, saving. And I need to go up to the rest root. And let me copy from here. Let me go up. Okay go up okay get the news by CID I will copy this copy till here okay so I will remove this and I will paste it here Okay, so we have this function, the post type and publish order by, I will put here B, post per page. I will remove the unnecessary things that we didn't uh, need in this function. And uh, let me check. I will remove this and I will put data array here idea ID sorry and uh, I will create also here these are the variables that we are going to get inside the JSON file that we uh, we will get and uh, we will uh, need to parse and send it to Android Studio in order to fetch the JSON later on. So we are making the APIs to get the data, all data in a complex, in a, a well-defined JSON file. Uh, it may be complex, but uh, we will learn in Android Studio how to configure and get all this data. So if you want to learn more about JSON parsing, go, please go back to our uh, videos and uh, see and uh, the course and uh, see how to fetch JSON uh, according, according to uh, the, the steps and from uh, simple to very complex structures of JSON. I will copy this. Paste it here. Okay. I will uh, put them into inside the for loop and I will remove substring. I remove this and getting image, everything is fine. And let me save and see. copy and let me go and in the same way news by PID so the search query would be 
used by PID okay and I will pass the ID of the post let me check 59 okay we have error at line 1041 okay I remove uh, the semicolon and also check for okay I remove the bracket also saving the file let me check and we have now so there is some errors uh, let me check pi2 maybe the ID of the post is, is not uh, here so I will go to it's not found the ID I will go to any post we have so the post ID is 28 I will go and here we got the uh, JSON format of the news I copy this paste it in order to get the JSON more uh, more pretty and I will scroll down to get the Java JDK the news features in Java 15 and here we got it so we have got the the ID of, uh, we have searched for the news the post according to its ID so we have created an API to get the post by ID if you see that uh, we have used the post ID uh, we go to the post and we search for the link and inside the WordPress it will give you the ID of the post but we didn't we want we want not to work in the same way later on we will uh, we will suggest the similar IDs and we use this API in order to get the details of the news and not searching for IDs I will, I will not allow the, the user to search for uh, ID 25 or 28 I will allow the user to when he clicked on uh, any item the API uh, that we have created now will go and search for its details and get the data inside the news detail activity that we would uh, create later on in order to display the details of the news that the user clicked on on the home page so i think it is very complex complex but don't worry we will clarify it later on